Peace, peace. Welcome, welcome. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Uh, I'm Toast Johnson. It's the Pinoy Podcast, and um, I know I'm saying this a lot lately, but uh, this is a definitely, uh, definitely another special episode with another special guest that I'm uh, honored to sit down and talk to. Um, uh, today we got a gentleman who is um, has a very unique position in the world of music videos. Uh, you have seen his work um, all over the, the TV from MTV, BET, and everywhere else. He has uh, worked with some of the some of the biggest uh, artists in the music industry, um, with some of the biggest music videos in the music in the, in the industry. Um, no, he's he's not a director. No, he's not a rapper. But he's very integral, t- integral to the part of uh, of music video filmmaking. So um, I'll let him explain exactly what he do. But he, uh, I'm so honored to sit here and talk with Brother Kareem Johnson. Welcome to the Pinoy Podcast. Thank you so much, Toast. I greatly appreciate being here, man. You know, thank you so much for having me. You know, so definitely, let's um, let's get into it. Definitely, definitely. Um, just. Real quick, basic, uh, you know, question, bio question. Where you from? I'm from the Bronx. Okay. All day, H- you know. Hence the hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm from the Bronx, um, University Avenue. Um, I now live in Jersey. Yeah, but I'm um, from the Bronx, New York, you know, born and raised. And, um, you know, I um, I do some things with some music videos. That's what I do. <laughs> Definitely. Now, your position, your position uh, is... is as they say, they wear, you wear many hats, right? But yeah. uh, you've been called uh, a commissioner. Yes. Uh, can you explain to to me and to us what uh, a commissioner does for a music yeah. video? Okay. Well, every record label has a video commissioner. They have um, their video department. And within that video department, you have a team of video commissioners. And I am a video commissioner for Atlantic Records. So I have a roster of artists, um, which and I oversee all their music videos. My roster includes um, Cardi B, Jack Harlow, um, Kodak Black, PNB Rock, uh, A Boogie, Juicy Fruit, um, Ivy J, Corday, um, Lil Easy, um, some new artists we just um, we just got um, TG Commas. Um, I feel like I'm missing one or two other people. Um, of course, Wiz Khalifa, who got me the position. <laughs> um, definitely wow. Wiz Khalifa. Um, and and then I, I commissioned for other smaller labels or independent labels. I um, also commissioned from time to time for Mass Appeal. So I've done some stuff for, um, commissioned some vid- a few videos for Nas. So, oh. um, yeah, so that's what I do. Um, I commission. So I oversee the music videos from inception to until it's out, you know? Um, so basically uh, you represent the whole billboard chart right now. It seems like it. <laughs> it seems like I'm, listen, I'm, I'm very happy with the success of all the artists that, um, that I, that I work with, you know what I'm definitely. saying? They've definitely put me in a position where because they've been they've been successful, the videos have been successful, and it's getting a lot of views and a lot of eyeballs. So that's a good thing for me, and right. that kind of you know that opens doors for other you know for other artists that may just need some commissioning done for their music video, you know. Right. But um, yeah, so that's what I do. And prior prior to commissioning, um, I was producing a lot of music videos. So I was producing videos for almost a good twenty two about twenty two years. Mm-hmm. Producing a lot of music videos from 50 Cent to Lil Jon to, you know, my one of Cardi's first videos. I like it. That was the first video that I produced for her, right. um, which is now certified diamond, the song. And then the, vi- the video is over a billion views. Oh, um, man. Wow. Yeah. Um, DJ Khaled with. Um, with um i'm the one video with justin bieber amigos mm-hmm. um uh, i mean it's a, a lot of artists sometimes i get i get asked that question and i totally forget half yeah, the different. time because i mean it's, it's a long it's 
20 years, 20 so you know, years of doing music videos, you tend to forget, man. I just deal with what I have, what I shot last week. Right. I mean, <laughs> you know it's, what I'm saying? It's, it, uh, you have such a gigantic reel. It yeah. just, it just, uh, it's, you know, keeps going. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, it's, it, it's, yeah. Cra it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I got, I got into this, um, through my dad, um, Carl Johnson and like my, my dad did roots, mm -hmm. you know, that's how far back, you know, him and his brothers have been in the game. You know, my dad did Kojak, you know, mm. he did all those TV shows and things of that nature. Him and his brothers, they were the ones that opened the doors for, I mean, besides myself, it's about, mm, about another 15 of us in the business. I mean, family members are in the business from electric to, to being a grip, to being a producer, to being a DP. Right. Um, so I have a lot of family members that are in the business. Um, and so that's where I get it from. I get it from my dad and my and, and my uncles. You know, it's in the bloodline. It's definitely yeah, in the bloodline. Man, that definitely, you know. So I'm 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 happy. I'm excited. You know, oh, to man. keep going. You know, salute, salute to your family. Salute to Thank pops you. for for definitely giving you that inspiration and and definitely on working on those uh, particular shows that you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, and having I know it kind of sound cliche, but having uh an African American or black or you know our people uh yeah. in that in in that in that position me is uh is um someone who, who who loves filmmaking and hopes to be a filmmaker one time that that is inspiring so yeah definitely definitely uh can can you tell us like uh maybe it's a, a odd question but the difference between uh well you told us what a commissioner does mm -hmm. uh but uh and um what is the difference between a uh, commissioner and a producer of music videos? I know it's, it's kind of, but just a little well, bit I'm, clarity on it. From the from the um, from the commissioner standpoint, because it, right. it, it goes right into that. From the commissioner standpoint, I have my meeting with marketing, with the marketing department. We figure out what the next single is or what we're going to spend on the music video. I then take that song as a commissioner. I solicit that song to a different to a bunch of different um directors, maybe five to seven, maybe five to ten different directors. Just get a broad a broad base of just concept coming in, right? Right. Now, we get a concept that we like. That said director then gives that concept to the producer, which is when I you know when I was wearing that hat, that's when I step in. So right. from there, I would take that concept, knowing what the said budget was or is. I I, I budget everything out. So I, I'm the one, the producer would be the person that's getting permits, getting cameras, getting crew. Of course, you have the, produ the producer has his team, production manager, production coordinator, you right. know. But within our department, within that production crew, we, we just pretty much execute everything on that concept. If the director wants, you know, 10 pink elephants, you know, walking down Broadway, that's my job. I gotta make sure I get the elephants, the trainers, the permits. Right. You know? So that's my job. I'm the one, the person in charge from from the very beginning of production all the way to the end. So I, you know, I budget everything. I'm payroll. I'm I'm all of that. Right. I see right. everything. And you know, for me, you know, I've always I, I've loved producing, but I've also wanted to be a commissioner because it was like you know I wanted to be in that position to actually give give projects to up and comers, you know what I'm saying? Great mm -hmm. creatives, you know, a lot of black and brown people, you know, uh, of course, to try to, you know, make sure that we're in, we're represented well, All you right. know, our stories, our visions are, are, are being, you know, are being executed. Exactly. So that's pretty much as a producer, my job, which is budget everything out, whether the budget is $5,000 to a million dollars. Right. I have to budget everything out and just make sure I deliver a great music video. That you know. it that takes a uh, tremendous uh, concentration and dedication, you know, yeah. to 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 execute uh, to execute that and and to execute it well. What you do when um, you get it to to when you get the project and you, you start to select a director, mm -hmm. right? That the, you're leaving a total vision in 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 the director's hands. Or do you guys have somewhat something to do with the vision of how you think the the particular single is going to go? I mean, it depends. I mean, usually an artist will come to the table with an idea, and then I give that said idea to um, to all the directors, and then they'll okay. they'll build off of that idea. 
Or Got if it. the artist doesn't have an idea, we just call it an open creative. So that way the director, he or she will just come back with whatever their vision is. Right. And if we like it, we run with it. You know what okay. I'm saying? I mean, it's usually 50-50 depending on who the artist is. You right. know, we have some artists that are very, very hands-on, very creative. Um, right. And then we have we have some that are just like, you know, I'll let you guys figure it out. And you just come back and give me some dope concepts, you know, which is what I'm currently in the middle of doing with like three artists. You know? <laughs> Any, so, uh, uh, anything, uh, well, you know, it usually is for the for the end of the interview, but uh, anyone you want to mention of the of the projects you're working on right now? Um, Corday, um, some new some new videos for Corday. Ooh, Jack that Hart. that's that sinister video, bro. You like it? Man, listen, <laughs> listen. I got. I, I'm gonna be honest, right? I kind of got on the train late with Corday, mm -hmm. right? And I'm I'm kind of ashamed to say that, but I'm gonna say it in public. But he truly is the the foundation of the hip hop that I fucks with. Oh yeah. And and it may be it, it but it's dressed up in a brand new this generation package. Yeah, yeah. But though but those verses and how he goes at it is what what I'm used to and what I fucks with. So yeah. Oh, Corday, so, Corday, yeah. Uh, Corday is amazing, man. Like yeah. I, I um I didn't and I'm the same way. I didn't catch on to him because at the time he was you know, he was part of the whole YBN click, YBN Corday. Right. Of course, you know, then he dropped the YBN. Um, right. And then that's, I think that's when I jumped on. And so I yeah. started listening, like the first album, I was like, oh, dude, is, right. he's yes. on it. Right. But um, I think what really, what really, you know, solidified him with me was the record he has with Nas and Freddie Gibbs. Right, um, right, right. Nas right. redid uh, Life is Like a Dice Game. Which mm -hmm. he had on the clue, which he had on DJ Clue tapes almost twenty years ago, mm. and then he put it. He he re he he just put it out, and he added Freddie Gibbs and Corday. And I heard Corday's verse. I was like, man. So, and then when they gave me Corday to commission, I was like, oh, bring it on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, you, you already know? got a vibe and an energy. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And we and we and we click. And uh, Corday's great. You know, him and his team are really great to work with. He knows mm -hmm. what he wants. He's very hands on. You know, and I love that about him because he comes to the table knowing what he wants. Right. You know and what I'm saying? And, and that works. That works. That works for me. And I'm so, so I'm really happy that the the reception of the Sinister video has been great. Yes. You know, the yes. song, I think him and him and Lil Wayne killed their verses. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had a, sure. you know, um, and the video came out great, man. A big oh, shot so to Edgar. Dope. Yeah, and, big shot to Edgar Estevez. Edgar oh, Estevez directed that video. Oh, Blank Square Productions. They did salute. a great job. So, I mean, you. just the the concept of um, you know having it uh, very political, very militant, very black power uh, yeah. orientated. You know, I'm always with that. <laughs> you know, what oh I mean? yeah, so, definitely. I was with you know it. I mean? Yeah, just, even just being on set and just looking at everybody and just going through the motions mm -hmm. with all the setups and the scenes. We mm -hmm. were like, this gonna this gonna be something. So he mm -hmm. was really happy when we when we wrapped the video shoot and we yeah. had a nice long talk after the after the shoot and he was like, listen. I'm happy. And right. as a commissioner, that's all I want to hear walking yeah. away off set, going back to my hotel. Like, okay, artists and management are very happy. So I did a great job. That's the bottom line. You know, you and know, it's all you... about repeat and it's all about repeat business, man. Keeping it keeping it going. Right, right. Keeping it going, man. Now you you, you being uh I'm not sure if you was uh well, you being a, I was about to say a kid from the Bronx, but uh being a guy from the Bronx, how how did it happen that uh you, you mentioned earlier that Wiz Khalifa uh gave you your start in it well uh, he gave me wiz gave me the opportunity to commission uh, to commission um All i right. was also i was because I, I i had produced up until up until that time i might have produced maybe a good 15 to 20 videos for wiz gotcha and my, my mm -hmm. first video for wiz that i produced was black and yellow you know Whoa. so i've done i've done my everything favorites. Yeah, and that was the yeah. first time. That was my first time in Pittsburgh, and seeing seeing how him him and his team get down, me and his mm. mom, and all like everything you see in that video was real. Like his mom cooking the turkey, bacon, and the right. egg. And we was we was in Wiz's room, and we was in the kitchen. We was on we was in his house. <laughs> we, we did everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that relationship and that trust 
has led me to this, you know, to this situation. He was, um, uh, he would drop, he dropped Rolling Papers 2, that album. Right, um, right. And when that album was about to drop, his manager, Will, who was a really good friend of, of the family, Will Zombach, he called me. He was like, listen, me and Wiz want you to commission the album. And uh, we, we we planned on dropping like, it was like a double album, like 20 something songs. Mm-hmm. He's like, we're gonna drop at least a good nine to 10 videos. And for me, I was like, oh, I'm on, I was I was on it. I was ready yeah. to improve. But I was also already like commissioning other artists, but it wasn't, you know, now it was like, okay, this the this this the big time, big league, you know, whole not. I was already, like I said, I was already doing it, but now it just became solid, came real. And okay. once I delivered on uh, once Atlantic sold the videos, next thing you know, all the other product managers were like, Hey, here's Kodak. Here's his right. PNB Rock. Here's his Corday. Here's his, his, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And that just opened the doors for me. And I was just so I'm very thankful to Wiz and to Will for really, you know, entrusting me to, you know, to deliver. And I think yeah. we had a great time. And actually, I'm in the process of doing some more videos for Wiz now for the for the new year. So That's looking sad. forward to that. Yeah, I'm getting concepts in for Wiz now. So looking forward to, you know. You well, know, that's, reunite uh, with my boy, you know. Yeah, well, that means he has a new album coming out. Yeah, he has, you know, he's, <laughs> you know, he's got some things working. He got, he got, yeah. He, he's been, he's been, he's been, he's been laying low for a minute. But, yeah. you know, if you know Wiz, he has at least three, four albums that's in the stash, you know, but if, if just you know, ready to some, go. Some of the great artists, they do that. They lay yeah. low. Oh, yeah. They, let, they oh, yeah. let it simmer and then they come back at the right time. Uh, come back hard, I, man. I.e. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, you know what I mean? Can't wait. No, Can't gotta know wait. when. Yeah, no when to strike. Um, oh, yeah. So what was the the? I mean, I don't know if this is a redundant question, but what is, what was the first music video you produced? Then? The first music video that I that I produced was Ice Down Medallions, Royal Flush, featuring Nori. Ooh. That was the first video. That was a matter. Well, no, no. Smart. That was my that was my first hip hop video. Okay. Prior to prior to, prior to getting hip hop videos, I was producing a lot of Latin videos. So to be honest with you, the very first music video that I produced was for this group called Mundo Max. Mm. They had a song called um, "Me Gustan Todas." Mm. Me Gustan Todas. <laughs> I had like a six thousand dollar budget. Woo. We shot it downtown Manhattan, and. Um, I just recently found a video on YouTube. I was looking at that video forever. <laughs> and I finally found it on YouTube and I was like, yo, that was yeah, that was my first joint. But um Royal Flush, that was my first hip hop video. And that's that big is thanks crazy. to my, Yeah, that's big thanks to um Blunt Recordings, my guy Brian Leach. Mm-hmm. Um Brian was, you know, he you know, I used to go down there all the time and just, yo, I, I, let me get something, let me get something. So he let me do like Mike Geronimo stuff, like right. little EPKs, little behind the scenes stuff. Right. And when Royal and when Flush Drop, I got the opportunity to do that video, and um, we shot out, we shot it out there in Queens. You know, the two day mm-hmm. shoot. Um, my boy Nelson Pena, he directed it. He and we shot that on film, and he edited yeah. the video and. Yeah, now, man. It was now it was the crazy. thing is that's so dope, right? Because yeah, you that that's a unique time in hip hop around that time, yeah. right? You know, yeah. So you you you've been there and, and watched the transition from the inside of hip hop going from iced out medallions, mm-hmm. right, to more of what we have going on now, where yeah. it's you know it's so wide, it's so big, it's so commercial. You know what I mean? And, you know, like, any thoughts on that, on that transition? No, I mean, all I did really, you know, I, I noticed, of course, the music was going to change and style and all that. And that's that's right. a given. Right. My whole thing was now the industry, you know, cameras and the, the whole video, the whole video mm-hmm. market is changing. You know, we're going from film to digital. You know, oh, yeah. I wasn't, I, I wasn't, all that well versed in the digital when it first came up so what i had to do in order for me to survive and stay in this lane i had to you know i had to put my arm around people that were in the digital market you know what i'm saying and just ask questions and see what they're doing and what are they into are they directing so when opportunities came 
I had folks on the digital side that can actually, you know, execute, you yeah. know? So that's what I did. I just stayed afloat. I just stayed around folks that knew what they were going to, you know, what yeah. they knew, they knew the change was coming. So it's like, okay, let me, let me, let me associate myself with these people as well. You know what I'm saying? And then that's how I just grew and just keep, you know, kept it going. I didn't want to just fall flat because all, oh, now we're shooting, we're not shooting in digital. I'm not doing film. And, right, no. right. I right. got to go with the times. Yeah. Whether the music is, whether the music is what it was in 88, 89 to what it is in 2009, I mean, 2021, I had to, I had to adjust, yeah. you know, and I'm glad I, I made that move because, you know, my end game was, you know, I always wanted to be a commissioner, you know, right. so it was like, in order for me to get there, I had to just associate myself with the people that were actually in the new market, in the new fields, you know, the new, the new, the new mediums, you know, right. and it worked out, definitely worked I, out. I, I know you as, as a commissioner and producer of music videos, one of the things I know is probably for the, 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 the transfer to, to digital mm -hmm. is the, the time that it takes. Remember when, you know, they used to shoot it on 16 millimeter video or 30, mm -hmm. 35 millimeter film or 16 yeah. millimeter film, you would have a, a, a process time cause the film has to be developed. Yes. <laughs> and you know before yeah. it can even be uh edited you know what i mean oh, yeah. and that oh and yeah i'm quite sure that the labels back then had to that was the extra time got to wait for it to be developed oh yeah do the, so now i it, i think it may just be just a tad bit oh maybe, yeah yeah you, know, you can quicker. shoot you can shoot a you can shoot a video today and tonight you can start uploading that footage and if you stick to it you can start cutting that tonight mm. you can start cutting right. the, the video That's tonight right. You know, with the raw files and the whole nine, and then you know we see that we we we'll, we can see a, a rough cut within the next day or two, depending on who your editor is. That's right. And and if everything is good, I can have the video out by Friday. That's, wow, that's, you know what I'm saying? And, it's, and it's, that, it's it's yeah, yeah, it's that quick. What is the usual time that it takes for say I'm gonna say a major music video? It what is the? It, yeah. it, it, it depends. It depends on. It depends on the concept. Okay. Depends right. on who you're working with, director, editor wise. Right. Um, it depends on when you're trying to release that single. I know a lot of times the single would come out first and then the video would follow. Right. But sometimes what the trend now is let's like we like we did with Cardi, you know, we tend to drop the single and the video the same day. Like when we did WAP, we dropped that in the middle of COVID. That was a matter of fact, that was the very first production during covid so our video set the tone for everything else that's going on out there wow you know po you know wow. during covid right covid testing so it just depends um it just really depends on when you want to release it you know depending if you're independent you may just drop it like i said if you shot today put the video out on friday right. it just depends but usually a good a good a, a good turnaround time is usually a good two weeks Right. You know, two to three weeks, um, depending. Like I said, that's depending. Especially if you're on a major, depends upon when you want to drop that single. You know, right. So we want to. <laughs> you definitely want to. It, it it goes. It goes. It goes hand in hand. Right. That that that's so dope and so like for me, like you know how it goes as far as like people, not many people like fans. They watch music videos and they really don't. Yeah. They just see the visual. What's there. You know, it's, it's three dimensional, but it's one dimensional yeah. because they just see that. But it's so much stuff that goes oh, uh, into uh, into you know into making it. Well, you, you mentioned it, and um, want to have a little bit of levity here with WAP. Yeah. Right. So you are part of one of the most, I will now say, historic, controversial mu music videos <laughs> since I guess. Fuck the police by NWA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, um, man. yeah, man. So you said you explained you explained to us the, how you get the how it goes of getting a music video done. When that concept came across your mm. desk, what was your thoughts? Well, I'll give you the back away with it. You know, this this is during COVID. Everything is shut down. Um we, you know, no one's really flying and things of that nature. Right. Cardi, you know, Cardi, you know, comes with this song, WAP. You know, uh, my wife, she's Cardi's product manager. She's everything Cardi, you know. 
Um, from a from a label's point of view, when it comes to Cardi, that she's the Cardi whisperer. She's Team right. Cardi. She's so when she got the song, and I listened to it, she was like, "So what do you think?" And I was like, "Okay, so first of all, what do you want to spend on this video?" Right. But we're going through we're going through the motions about what we're spending now. The next question was, "Who's going to direct the video?" But my 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 number one question was, "Does Cardi have any ideas?" Does she right. have any anything anything for this video? She had a couple of ideas, um, but the person that really go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying because it's a a pretty broad subject. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. also Cardi B, so you know yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, um, my fault. But Sorry. No, no, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> there was a couple of directors that I had in mind, and I knew it was going to be a single bid. And we call projects, we call video single bids when it just goes to that one director. It's not like we have a cattle call where I give the right. story to like ten different directors. It's a single bid. I know, I know who I'm gonna give it to. So I, I had uh, the 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 night prior to me making that phone call to the director, me and my wife were sitting there watching all the J Balvin music videos that Colin Tilly uh, was directing. Now Colin Tilly, he's a beast. He's a great director, great guy. I uh, love his music videos, colorful things that nature. Mm-hmm. But we sat and we watched all of J Balvin's videos that. Colin Tilly had directed. So I called Colin the next day and I told him this what's going on. He got this single and he was like, let's do it. And this is all for the success of I like it, money, right. press, all those videos that we yeah. did. And you know, yeah. knowing those are big videos, big songs, you know, he knew what to do. So, you know, he said he had, you know, I told him that Cardi pretty much had an idea. And Cardi was in LA. She was in um, she was in LA, and so was Colin put them two together. Colin went and saw her. They fleshed out, you know, flushed out an idea. Right. Colin came back to me maybe like maybe two, maybe like eh, maybe three, four days later, came back with um the concept. So pretty much what you see on screen is pretty much what he sent me based off the conversation him and Cardi had. Right. And I was like, oh shit. Okay, this is what we're doing. Okay. You know, um, so, yeah. cool. <laughs> You know, and this, you know, it's, it's her and Megan, and it, it, it worked out. Um, we started getting into production to shoot the video. And mind you, this is during COVID. We're all, this, and this is, this is actually my very first COVID test. You know, now you, if you look back, this is my, you know, I fly to LA. You know, I don't know. I got this one, you got the gloves. This one, you got the gloves on. You got the mm-hmm. double mask. Mm-hmm. You, up there. you don't know who's who. You mm-hmm. just like. So it was that whole vibe. We get to set. And this is when the whole COVID testing was, especially for production, things are being implemented. We don't know who's who. You know, um, we had over, we did over 300 COVID tests. Out of the 300 COVID tests, I think we had like 15 people that were, that tested positive. Wow. You know, and this is this is when we're getting tested the you know either the day the day of days before because we also right. had rehear- we had rehearsals for the dancers, we had we had um we had tech scouts we had you know we had pre, pre uh, we had all types of stuff going on we had rigging days we had all the just for the for the set building and all so everybody has to get tested it so that you know? adds that adds a lot of time to the production it adds a it? lot of time adds a lot of money. Um, just and just for COVID testing alone, the budget for the video was already crazy, but now we got a bill for COVID. Te- and like I said, this is the first production for COVID testing, so no one really knows how to maneuver. But we got through it, you know. Um, so I get to set. I walk in. And the very first thing that we shoot was the leopard scene, mm. you know, and. I'm sitting in the chair and in walks Cardi. She has the robe on and the director were all around her talking to her, we know what we're going to be shooting. Are you ready? Let's go. She opens the robe and you're like, bow. You're like, oh. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're like, yo. But, you know, she's such a G. You know, she's, she is such a G. You know, very professional. You know, after a while, that was over your head. You feel, you just focused on the performance yeah, yeah. and her giving it up. I mean, the thing is, did, it, man. It, it's not so much in awe of, I mean, her beauty and 
body and everything else, but it's yeah. so much awe of her power. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And yeah. and you can look at that and be inspired by it. Hopefully, you'll be inspired by it because anything else will probably mess your life up. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. But, but, but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm 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 extremely happy with the success of that video. You know, um, the fact that it got nom it got nominated. Yeah. Um. It won. It won video of the year BET awards. It won yeah. best hip hop video BET hip hop awards. Um. We were nominated for um video of the year MTV VMAs. We didn't win. You know. But I was happy to be nominated. Right. You know. Right. Um, for sure. Happy to be nominated. Um. And then the next video after that we shot was up. Mm. You know, and we shot that. Uh, when, this is yeah. We shot that this yeah. Did we shoot that? Did we shoot up this year? We shot yeah. We did. It should okay. be going by so quick. I'd be like yeah, hey, I know. <laughs> this, yeah, so we yeah we did shoot that yeah. this year. We shot that this year. Um, and that was also nominated as well. So I was ha listen. You know, I'm just happy to be mentioned and my videos get nominated, things of that nature. You know, and then you know you get the. Come home on one of these bad boys. Yes, you know sir. Yes, sir. You know, and this is and this is for Cardi's uh money video Ooh. that we got in 2019. You so, know, and so yeah, so I happy mean, for that one. So to describe if you can describe while holding that statue, I'll be oh no doubt, for that. no doubt, yeah. no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> if you could describe uh that <laughs> moment, you got two of those, don't you? Got two of those um, for the same video. One is right. a label for, for me, um, and the other one is labeled with my production company, Overseen. Right. Got you. We ran, you know, because at the time I was, um, uh, this thing is a little heavy. Yeah, <laughs> no, I got you. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we could, we, could, we could position it somewhere. Boom. Right, there we go. Right there. There we go. There we, go. Wow. we could do that. Wow. Um, and I was ran through my production company, Overseen. And I was very happy to have, you know, with the, we won this video, we won the award. I mean, and this is when 2019, we had the VMAs was in Jersey. So I'll go out there. This is my second time at the VMAs. So I'm at the VMAs. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting next to, you know, the, the president and the CEO of, of Atlantic Records. We all sitting in one little, one little um, aisle and just having a good time. Mm -hmm. And the video gets nominated. I mean, gets mentioned, and I'm sitting there at the edge of my seat, like, okay, let's, you know, I'm just happy to be here, mm -hmm. you know. And they say <laughs> Cardi B, money. And I'm sitting there like, oh, and I and I happen to have because I I have I have a bunch of these hoodies on. I mean, mm -hmm. I have a bunch of these hoodies, so I happen to have one on that day, and I was like, fuck, I'm just rock, I'm gonna rock my company. It is what it mm -hmm. is. And, I, and we won. I was just like, yo, man. And then you know, my phone. I, I'm I'm getting. From that point on, I'm getting mad to my mother texting me. Everybody saying, right. oh, congratulations. Right. Oh, man, I, I I cried that day, man. I was Shit. just like, yo, right. I've, so. I've, been, yeah. I've been watching the VMAs my whole life. You know, as a right. as a as a person that's in into making music videos, that's 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 your Grammy. That's you right. know, that's that's your that's your uh 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 that's the big that's the big boy, right? You know exactly. what I'm saying? That's exactly. your you know. So I was, I was happy, and then when it finally came, man, you know that was a whole nother moment. So you know now it's you know now it's downstairs and so chilling, dope, man. you know. So, so I'm happy. <clears throat> I'm happy. Finally, so dope. They definitely got it right with that one. MTV. Oh got yeah, it right man. Because money, money was a great video. Right. You know that we shot that. That was a three day shoot. We right. shot two days in L.A., one day in Brooklyn. Um. And you know she had nine wardrobe changes for that mm. video, nine. Mm. You know, and it's it's probably. I mean, it's out of all, out of all the videos that we've done that I've done for Cardi. I think my favorite is really press. Press, okay. You know, I love you know. Yeah, you know, press I love, is dope. I love, I yeah. love I, and also and that's one with the thirty naked girls. And, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, and all that. And mm -hmm. yeah, that video, that video press is dope. Is hot. Yeah, press you is know? off the hook. Yeah. Off the hook. So um, that that worked out, man. So I'm happy about I'm happy about my my bitter relationship with Cardi. I'm, uh, you know, definitely, definitely. So so though, what what was the the most expensive um, music video you worked on? <clears throat> the most expensive 
They were all Cardi. Okay. All of Cardi. I think out of all the videos that we've done, I think Up was the most expensive one. Okay. You know, it definitely, definitely um, broke the bank, but it was worth it. <laughs> it was yeah. worth it. I mean, her videos, and I think the other most expensive video that, I, that I've done was um, BMF. Their videos, um, mm -hmm. when you know when Meech was out, you know I produced all those videos with Benny Boom. You know no. um, we shot, oh. yeah, we shot three three music videos from BMF, mm. and the, the first one we we combined two videos into one. So it was first one was it was Blue Da Vinci with E Forty, and then the second half of the video was Blue Da Vinci with uh, Fabulous. Mm. You know, and that's when you mm. know Meach was home, and he gave us all the money in cash. You know, what I'm saying? you Salute. know, and I was oh, Meach was he, was he was dope, man. He's a great guy, man. Very Definitely. open, very honest. You know, and let us let us rock out, man. He he gave he let us do our thing. So yeah, those are the two artists that I all the videos I've pretty much done. Those are the biggest but biggest budgets. Definitely. Today. Definitely salute the big big meets BMF. I know yes, uh, what watching the, the series has to be like something for you. Like wow. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Know? I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm 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 happy just to see their story told. Um, I'm even happier to see my guy who I've produced many 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 music videos for E for Vera. You know, he oh, finally yeah. made that shift. Yeah. He made that shift from music videos to TV. Yeah. So he did BMF, he did Kanan, then Power, did Four yeah. Life. Now he's doing some Dick Wolf TV shows. So wow. I'm happy. And that's one of the things for me, too, just as a commissioner, as a producer, to see your peers grow, mm -hmm. you know, from, you know, being on set with Hype Williams and Little X and Benny Boom to now Eve Rivera and seeing them, you know, especially when I see Benny and I see Eve, right. you know, killing, a, killing it in the TV space, Definitely. you know, and um just you know those my those my guys i'm so happy for no one you know no one yeah no one they come from the culture you know what oh, i mean yeah definitely and, definitely and, and they uh, definitely bring that they definitely bring that with them they right. carry that with them all the time so salute right. to my guys benny and eve for yeah, real. salute salute definitely all day uh like um on the set right who are you mm -hmm. you most in contact with is it the the director the dp the artist who are you um, in the air. In well, the because air. I because I come from a production background, mm -hmm. I'm I gravitate towards production, so I'm always with the producer, okay. making sure every. But for me, I mean, not outside next to the producer, it's really my AD, because my assistant director, he run he, he or she runs the set. They schedule out the day, mm -hmm. so I'm more. My thing is what are, you know what are we shooting within that. 12 to 16 hour period, you know, in which we don't go over time. So I'm, you know, and, and as a former AD myself, right. you know, I, 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 I've worn many hats. I, I was a coordinator, but I was a production manager that got into producing. I used to a second AD, I used to first AD. So I, I know I know those hats very well. So the AD, since that, that person is dealing with time and schedule, I'm on that person. I'm always like, okay, what are we doing next? How much how much long is gonna take for this person while I get the artist to go change their clothes? The artist gonna take a good half an hour, 45 minutes to mm -hmm. get ready. So while while he or she is doing that, what could we be shooting right now just right. to make up time or whatever? You know, so it's usually just the AD and the producer. You gotcha. know, um usually the AD and the producer. And um, because I know just what it entails. Right. You know, right. and I still and, and those are the real and those those are the real answers for me. Right, you know. So if I have a question, I need answered. I know who to. I know. I know who to go to. But I'm also on set dealing with management and the artist pushing the artist. Okay, get your clothes on. We only got another hour to shoot this scene. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's a, it's a lot of lot of being pulled left and right, and you know, right. walking through a lot sure, of different doors. You but know, making sure everybody moves forward. Oh yeah, because at the end of the yeah. day, you know, the label is giving you, you know hundreds of thousands of dollars to come back home with a with a with a great visual right and i want to make sure that that's what i do you know so i'm i'm thankful to people like lily thrall over at um atlantic she oversees all our you know, uh, music videos she makes sure the the concepts i mean i'm sorry 
the, the contracts, the budgets are sent out to, you know, different production companies so that we can shoot our videos and things of that nature. So I have a great team of people within my video department who definitely, besides myself, push it. You know what I'm saying? So we right. get it going, man. We get it going. So, and tell us about your, your company. Oh, my company, um, Overseen. We are, you know, it was so crazy. The, the company started in 2018 mm -hmm. um and the very and i had a, i had another company prior to overseeing called trigger happy uh, was based downtown manhattan we shot a lot of music videos early we shot like a bay bay um hurricane chris we did uncle the first uncle murder videos we mm. i mean uh we we did a lot of music videos we did a lot gotcha. um and then we you know, the company folded. Um, big shout out to my company, to, to my business partner, Tom Amik Richards. Mm -hmm. Um, but now I started overseeing and overseeing was just a production company that I just wanted to have, just to, mm -hmm. just to have it. Um, and then one day I'm on the gram and I see Swiss Beast and Alicia Keys, they're playing this album. They're playing this album called Loose by this brand new artist who none of us ever heard of. His name is mm -hmm. Jack Harlow. And um, I'm like, yo, I listened to the album. I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. And this all alludes to Overseen, by the way. Right. Um, so I listened to the album. Like, this album is crazy. And then I find out, oh, he's on Atlantic Records? Oh, great. <laughs> you know, because, you know, as a label, you don't know all the artists. You don't right. know everybody that signed. Right. Like, oh, he signed to one. Oh, he signed to Generation Now with DJ Drama. Right. Now, I've known Drama forever. Dr you know, Drama, Canon. And, and Lake, big shout out to the guys. And Definitely. I hit Drama, and I'm like, Drama, who's his product manager? And Drama tells me it's um, Ali Bianchi, Ali B. I hit Ali. I'm like, Ali, what's up with Jack? And she's like, why? You you want Jack? You want a commission for Jack? And I was like, yes, he's going to. I see it. He's mm -hmm. he's he's out of here. Mm -hmm. She's like, all right, well, he's yours. That, just like that. Just like that. Wow. So, but at that, but. I didn't commission it yet. He had a video that he needed produced. So my very first um, video through my company was Jack Carlo's video. And it was that, called Pick Up that was called Pick Up the Phone. It was featuring okay. K Camp. We mm. shot in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. the song was dope. And that was off of that album right. that Swizz and Alicia that you heard played. And I was like, <laughs> so wow. I always tell Jack, it's like Jack definitely jump started my company. That's you know, dope. and then um, through there, that's when I started producing all the Cardi's videos. All mm -hmm. her videos just ran through my company, and by that time, that's when you know that's when I got with Wiz again. Wiz like, yo, commission out. So I, in turn, my company kind of just did a three hundred and sixty. So I, I don't really produce as much anymore. My company is is more a commissioning company, right? You know what I'm right. saying. So that's what overseeing is. It's a commissioning. We can still produce in this video too. Right. But I'm focused more on, you know, just, you know, harboring good, good talent, you know, connecting with good, good talent. And I could just have them, you know, direct some videos that overseen will commission, mm. you know. Um, but it, it works out, man. I love it. It's a great situation for me, you know. I mean, the company has been doing tremendous. Overseen is is as they say, yeah. blow, blowing up. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, man. I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy with the moves that, you know, just the company has been making, you know, and just, you know, who we've been associated with, you know. Right. So I'm just, you know, it's it's a small company, but we're still, you know, we're still, listen, we, we got so much more to do. Right. You know, Definitely. you know, and I stay in my lane, you know, and I love it. I love music videos. I'm really not all that pressed into doing film and all that other stuff because that, right. you know, it's just, it's, that's a, uh, and I've been there first. You know, I did right. that first with my dad and everything. So I just know it takes a lot of time. It's like doing what you're film. doing. Yeah, what you're doing times 10 almost. Yeah, right? man. And it's a lot. And you, you, mind you, you're on that one project. Right. You know, at least with me with music videos, I can do two or three videos a, a week. Right. You know, and I can, in, yeah, right. I can, you know, I'm meeting new people. There's new, lo there's new locations, mm -hmm. new equipment, new gear, new, mm -hmm. you know, so I keep, you know, I'm, I'm on top of it. You know, right. I, I know what's going on opposed to me being on a movie for six months, same uh, people, same right. situation. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it. Right. But, but, I for, understand. For, but for me, 
I'm more of a I'm more of a stick and move type of dude. The redundancy is yeah uh, yeah ooh. yeah. You know I what I mean? I, 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 you know, <laughs> and on top of this, it allows me music videos allows me to have a life. Right. You know, I could do three videos a week and I could chill for a week. I could right. just be a dad and I could do home shit and I could go out. You know, I could yeah. do, I could just have a life opposed to. You know, like I said, being on a film for six now, you know, for six months, it, that's a, yeah. Unless you run into one of those uh, if artists start doing those things they were doing back in the days, like Streets is Watching and Murders the Case. Oh, yeah. You know, like, you know what yeah, I mean? And, Movie, and, videos type thing. Yeah, you, you know, can do, I mean, and you can do that. And, you know, if you plan it out right, you could do a good two, three weeks worth of shooting, like a Streets is Watching, knock it yeah. out. Yeah. And then you back to it. And I that kinda, way, it, go ahead. No, I'm saying I kind of miss that, you know, in, in, in the yeah, culture here, yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get that going again with a few artists, you know. I mean, just okay. the the Corday video that would have been stretched out to like some. That's like a, I mean, so, a dope concept, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. there's there's a conversation because a lot of the guys they understand they see you know the big the bigger picture, yeah. you know. You got netflix distribution you have oh, amazon yeah. distribution you know so it could be a bigger situation for them and then you might want to do a soundtrack right you know what i'm saying like i've got a, i got a I, I have a whiz film that i shot whiz and ty dollar sign on um, palala sorry ty dollar sign that we shot yeah it's man i've, I've had this film that that i that i produce is damn i think we shot this over like five six years ago mm -hmm. never came out it's still sitting. I said, "Yo, what are we gonna do? Should we NFT this? Should we? Should we do something with you know? You know what I'm? I'm here right now. What I'm feeling? I'm feeling an overseen channel because you got enough for a, a freaking channel. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean let us I'm, let I'm, us tune yeah. in. You know? <laughs> that would listen. That would be ideal. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of videos that I've done that are sitting on the shelf." That may not ever get the you know light of day. Oh, like I just man. posted something recently um, that I shot. I think we shot this video five. I want to say five years ago. It was um, it was Gucci Man, Young Dolph, right? Um, yeah, yeah, Gucci, Young Dolph, Ray Shremmer. and mm. this video has been sitting. It's been sitting that Eve directed. Um, it's been sitting for years, and I, I posted a little. I posted like two stills. From the from the video shoot, but I then fifty, yeah, and then fifty posted an actual clip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, all, and people didn't understand fifty's association with that video with that clip. So um, fifty had a show on BET called Fifty Central. Yeah. So when he had Fifty Central, he ended every vi he ended every show with an exclusive music video that. 50 central paid for right so that happened to be one of the videos um but unbeknownst to us at at that time gucci main and the brand gucci didn't see eye to eye so if you you know watch the video i'll send you a link mm -hmm. um watch the video gucci has on nothing but gucci everybody has on gucci for right. some strange reason everybody wore gucci that day Great. But at that time, um, Gucci and Gucci the brand, they didn't see out of now they're a hundred percent. Because Gucci just did he did he just done he did some Gucci um Gucci ads, mm -hmm. he's good to go. So mm -hmm. it's really up to it's really up to Gucci at this point if he wants to put this video out, even though 50 Central paid for the video. So wow. it's it's okay. kind of a fine line. So you know, who knows? I, I Maybe it might come out. I, I definitely hope it, it, it comes out. I soon. hope so too, because the mean, video was dope. I mean, yeah. and I can listen, I wasn't really into Dolph at that time. Right. Um, but Dolph spit a damn he he spit a verse yeah, on that man. joint. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. And um, but hopefully one of these days it'll come out, man. But it's just, you know, it's sitting in the vault, just sitting. Yeah. Well, hopefully you know like I said, definitely. And 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 some of the other product that you know that uh that's on the shelf. Yeah. Especially that Wiz Khalifa Ty Dollar Sign movie. I it hope so, to, man. It, that needs to hit the eyes right now. Mind there. you, That's this sick. is this is and this is when this is when Wiz was starting his dreads. Uh, now you see him now, he got you yeah. know, long 
Now you yeah. know he was just starting the joint, so I mean that's you know that could be that could be it as well. He's like I I, I was young then I you know, you know I was the little dr- all you gotta you do know. is put all you gotta do is put in the beginning of the movie, circa <laughs> circa there nineteen two thousand fifteen yeah, exactly, and then have it go in. That's all you got. Because it's, it's up, you know yeah. it's up it's up to him. I'll, I'll yeah. see him. I'll, I'll see him definitely in January. You yeah, know, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put like, that bug in his ear. <laughs> yeah, like my my voice means anything, but where's we need that, yo? The culture needs no that. So you know. <laughs> no doubt. Um, last question here, man. Uh, you know, um, what? Let's see. What makes you the best at what you do? I honestly say because I care. You know, I love I, I love what I do. You know, a, a lot of folks can't say that, but for me. I grew up watching videos, you know, watching Ralph McDaniel's video music box, you know, I, and, I, and I tell this to Ralph all the time. It's like, you know, I'm thankful to him and my father, you know what I'm saying? The, the, them too, they put me in the game. I mean, coming home in high school, watching videos and things of that nature, you know, rushing home to see video music box and channel right. 31, you know, and all that, yeah. you know, that opened, <clears throat> that shaped me right there, right. you know, so... I love what I do, you know what I'm saying? I definitely love what I do. And um, I take the time to make sure that, you know, my my, my videos are, are dope. I take right. the time, Right. you know what I'm saying? It's important to me because my name is on it. Without question. You know, my name is on it. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I, this it's, it's that simple for me because I care and I love it. You right. know, that's just, that's just, I mean, it's that simple. And because I do that, I'm going to put a thousand percent behind every project that I do. That I'm well, involved in. So well, your passion definitely shows through uh through your work. We all see it. And um definitely hope and pray, which I know it will, that your passion continues for this uh Thank you. for this um this thing that you do and yes. making some of the dopest music videos that will go down in history by far. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, a brother from the Bronx doing it big. You know what I mean? Uh, for the culture and for all of us. BX, and BX. Yeah, BX all day, yo. You know what I mean? <laughs> salute, salute. Uh, I hope um, definitely uh, you could come back and talk to us. Keep us updated. Yes, yeah, please. Um, Let me know what's going on. I'm, I'm here, man. Uh, listen, I'm I'm grateful. Thank you very much for having me. You know, let me tell my little story. You know, mm-hmm. when, definitely, you know, whenever you need me, I'm here. Please. I mean, brother, I mean, I was so, uh, you know, once I, you know, you know, so so that you was doing and, and what you did, and mm-hmm. for the fact and for the fact that your last name is Johnson, Holla. I'm like, yo, he represented <laughs> for the Johnson uh for the Johnson family. You represent, yes, sir, you yes, know what I mean? Yes, sir. And you know, and it's been a it's been a, a Johnson type of week because uh, a couple of days ago I interviewed uh, the Chill uh, yeah. from Compton's Most Wanted, yeah, and he is also a Johnson. You know what I mean? Oh wow, get out. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know. Okay, okay. CMW. I want, yeah, I don't want to scream his whole gov- uh, government on no there. Doubt, but no Google, Google, Google the chill, and they got it. He's another Johnson. You know what I mean? There we go. So That's what's up. it's uh, it's definitely been um, you know, a Johnson week, and and definitely um, I'm so honored to to talk to Kareem Johnson. Uh, now we definitely know what he what he does and what a commissioner does, and I hope that can inspire others to to reach that point. Um, to to uh to attempt to do what uh Kareem is doing. It takes a lot of work and a lot of years, but if you start now, maybe That's you right. can you can get there. You know, I know you can get there. But oh, yeah, um definitely definitely I want to say thank you again, Kareem Johnson, for coming to the Pinoy podcast. This was uh such an honor for me, brother. Uh much love, uh respect and continue continue uh success to what you do. Have a great holiday season. Uh, Thank you, sir. For you and your family, blessings, blessings, blessings. Enjoy Thanks your to vacation. You and your family as well, sir. Oh yeah, I can't wait another yeah. <laughs> six, another six five days. I can't wait. So, yeah, Sunday, yeah, another yeah. Six days. Out of here. Thank you, it, God. That, that's what I'm talking about. Let let it be uh, nothing but blessings. And um, until we talk again, brother. Um, yes, sir. Salute, blessings. Salute, Kareem Thank Johnson. You, yes, Kareem sir. Johnson, salute. Yes, sir.